Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to connect to SAP using Excel VBA. SAP is one of the most desirable subjects in the context of Excel VBA. I can see that by number of views of SAP articles on my simple excelvba.com website and I can also imagine that by knowing how hard it was to me to find the proper SAP connection code. To be honest, it was my first serious attempt to report automate or to code in VBA. Before that I did know VBA just a little bit. Some basic things like declarations, simply variables or similar things. And just like that wanted to dive into deep water without any solid background. That was a long night and I was searching and trying one after another example of code to connect to the SAP. I was failing and failing and after a few hours I started to see some fundaments of what is needed in my code and try to mix up uh, code examples with each other. And thanks to that and to my persistence, I achieved the code to connect to SAP automatically without opening it manually. In that time, I was not 100% aware of what that code means or is doing. I did not care in that time. I was happy that it is working and the way I wanted to. Now I am aware of that and I want to show you guys how to build simple connection to the SAP. So, first of all, I will read the credentials which are saved on the info sheet. Uh, connection name, login and password. So, create a subroutine. Connect to SAP. Let's uh, declare some variables. Okay, also um, set the worksheet where the credentials are stored. So the first one, connection name, which is under the B1 cell. Then login, which is under the B2, and the password. Okay, then we go to the SAP part. Firstly, we need to open the SAP login exa using the shell method. Secondly, let's create shell object to capture the SAP object and use app activate method to wait until SAP fully loads. Uh, we make the code to wait one second and repeat the check. It is not a must but uh, I like it that way. So first of all uh, declare another pack of variables shell object SAP GUI object application object connection and session object so as I said first of all using shell method uh, open the SAP application which is stored on the disk C SAP then 
set the shell object, I mean create shell to use uh, the app activate method wait uh, until the SAP window is fully loaded and in the meantime let's wait one second and then repeat the check OK and after that we don't need w script um, shell object so we are setting this to not nothing but we need to take over the SAP object with the standard object variable of course if we are working with the late binding so we are working with the late binding so now we need to take over the SAP application and to that I will use a declared earlier objects so first one to get the object of the SAP then we need to get scripting engine of the SAP Okay, uh, then we need to set the connection using the stored connection name. And the last thing to set the session object, first child of the connection. So now we already have fully launched SAP application on the login screen. After that line, uh, our code will look similar to the web scrapping code, we will seek for the uh, for the elements um, by their ID and um, their attributes. So now I will show you the login part. After that, you need to confirm this using Enter, which is an uh, SAP language send V key zero method of uh, the first window of the SAP. Uh, you will. Uh, see that in a second. So uh, we need to scrap for those uh, elements. So here we go with the password and the last thing and the last part of this code and that's all the code. Okay let's see how our code works for the better overview i will split this code for the four parts with the one two three breakpoints and the first part is responsible for the gathering all the information i mean connection name login and the password the second part is responsible for the SAP application. It launches the SAP and waiting until the um, until it's fully loaded. Let's go with that second part. After that, um, we're getting the SAP object and getting the scripting engine, opening the chosen connection using the connection name and then setting to the session object uh, first child of the connection. After that we will see the SAP login script where the code is passing the login, password and the language and after that the last part which is confirming the credentials and maximizing the window. And that's it. SAP application is open it. So that was it. In this video, I showed you the code to connect to SAP using Excel VBA. If you like this video, please leave a like below 
and if you want to be updated about my latest uploads please hit that subscribe button I really appreciate that also I invite you to my website simplexlvba.com to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles and to my Facebook profile thanks for watching thanks for listening and see you guys in the next video bye